watching Symantec SYMC on the NASDAQ good old gap down there with no real effort going to close that gap so looking for a possible short at this point in time just waiting for the old off chart indicators to confirm that entry All right, taking a short wave from 1854 on Symantec. All right, this is uh, just taking a long here, 1501 long there. ACLI, so you can get to tell you the name of that before I do hit the button on that one. So uh, long from 1501 there on ACLI. All right, going to close out this ACLI trade. Got filled there at 14.99, so lost two cents on that one because went in at 15.01. Didn't really move like I was hoping it would. I was hoping we'd get up a bit quicker, and uh, the EMA was always going to be the target as it is. The EMA's coming back down, drop below 15 dollars, so I ain't going to hang around leaving uh, capital and margin tied up in there. Better get out, take the two cent hit, and uh, move on to the next one. Okay, we're looking at AKAM, which is a Nasdaq stock. Looking at a possible long setting up. Good old pattern there. Just waiting for it to get a little bit of oomph behind it. And if that happens then we'll take a long on it. Okay, that's got a bit of bit of uh, movement there, so thirty six ninety four we're long from on AKAM. Alright, back on AKAM. Moved up nicely, a little bit of a pause. Long here from 36.94. Wanted to get round about a dollar on here, just stuck to a dollar now. Going to close this out round about now. Okay, just got to feel over 37.94, so got exactly a dollar on that one. So nice round thousand uh, dollar profit on there. Just explain, wanted to get out of there because getting late in the day. It's uh, gone 11 o'clock, you know, don't like to be trading much past 11. It's reached my target, so I'm quite happy to take a grand on that and uh, move on. This is CLG, what I've been watching on and off all morning, really. Looking at possibly just taking a quick long here, just to put a few little points out. Quick scalp trade. So I say wouldn't normally go in so late in the day, but just waiting for my last trade to finish up. So while I'm waiting... Assuming this entry uh, gets confirmed by the tape, then uh, no, no reason not to take a few points out of it. Alright, gone along from 64.50. Alright, this is my SYMC semantic trade. Bit of a slow burn this one, isn't it? Ain't really uh, set the world on fire. We're short here from 18.54. I look like it's going to do a lot more, so I'm going to cover all of that off in one go. Alright, just got Phil there at uh, 18.28 for a $260 profit on that one. So back on CELG, now that semantic trade's done and dusted. Close this one out, just see where it's going to go. Just sort of getting back up to uh, where it was earlier, just want to see how it behaves around there. I'm going to close it out here. All right, closed out there. 64, 64. Just took a quick hundred and forty dollars on that. I mean, you know, ain't much, but it was just a very quick scalp trade, just to uh, take a few cents out of that to stop. Just to, while waiting for us YMC to uh, finish up. So quick summary then. We had that ACLI trade, but it didn't work out. So just took a couple of cents, twenty dollar loss on that one. A-K-A-M, that worked out all right at the target, out for a nice clean round thousand dollars. S-Y-M-C, a bit of a slow old burner that one, didn't really do nothing. Two hundred and sixty dollars, bit disappointing. And uh, un quick hundred and forty there on that last C-E-L-G, just to uh, pass the time and take a little bit of cash out of that nice setup up uh, while we were waiting for S-Y-M-C to finish up. So 1,380 on the day, which is uh, pretty disappointing, as to be said, because uh, there has been some nice movers today. Had a few uh, internet problems, what have been going on all week, which uh, caused me to miss one or two trades, unfortunately. 
On the other hand, remember this was only trading a thousand shares. I never trade a thousand when uh, making these videos just to uh, limit my um, risk because commentating on the video does take a bit of concentration, do tend to make some mistakes sometimes. So it makes it easier for you to see what's going on when I trade a thousand and uh, limits my risk a bit. So it's 1,380 on a thousand, but obviously if you're trading bigger size, then uh, you would increase that accordingly. All right. Hope that has been useful to you. Sorry for the delay since the last video. As I say, I've been having a few internet problems, which has made things a little bit harder. Anyway, talk to you again soon.